So that's our 40 to 1 obstacle clearance surface. So I've got a right white screen here with a runway on it and a couple sloping surfaces going away from that. So those depict my standard obstacle clearance surface and my required obstacle clearance. So my OCS and ROC, those are the two terms that you'll see as acronyms, is OCS and ROC. So my OCS is a surveying term, it's a 40 to 1 slope. So out 40 feet, up one foot out 40 feet up one foot that's that's how it slopes away which is a very gradual slope if you think about it a school bus is about 40 feet long so if you can imagine you've got a a string that you move up about you know halfway up the school bus's front tire and slip it to the ground in the back of the school bus that's going to be a very shallow slope so that's our 40 to 1 obstacle clearance surface so when we're surveying in an airport we actually put this imaginary plane down at the edge of the departure into the runway and we lay it down at a 40 to 1 slope and we see what kind of obstacles penetrate that plane. Now if the obstacles that penetrate that plane are less than 200 feet tall but they do penetrate that 40 to 1 then they're considered a low close-in obstacle if they're within two miles of the field. So any obstacles that penetrate the 40 to 1 OCS within two miles and are less than 200 feet tall, those are considered low close-in obstacles.